I, I feel like photography taught me drive. It taught me how, how to not get fucked. It taught me to keep trying. It just taught me a lot of personal skills that I feel like people should have. It taught me self-worth. It taught me a bunch of shit. I always expose for the light. Like my photos tend to be like darker because of that. Because I, I want the highlights to stand out. And I want the shadows to be deep. And I want like the photos to have like that. I don't know, I wanted to look like real life and real life is not properly, like like real life doesn't look like a properly exposed image. Again, say my favorite thing to photograph is light, but my favorite canvas for the light would be a, a face or like a subject or a body, like some type of movable form. There's a tenderness in being able to get like a true expression for someone, like to be able to, to connect and like take a photograph that like actually speaks to that person or like has like a notch there. Like that's, I don't know, it's beautiful and it gives me like this like weightless feeling in my chest and like I'm pursuing the weight. Like yeah, yeah, and I'm pursuing that feeling. I want my photos to feel like a gasp every time, like yeah. My name is Gabe Oviawe. I'm from Madison, born and raised. I'm from the south side of Madison. We didn't really grow up with too much. So like, but like, I don't know. I never had to like worry about anything as a kid. So life was pretty chill and comfortable in that sense. As a kid, I was able to understand that like certain situations are, are just the way they are. And like certain, like things are, like things are things. Like things happen and like that's how life is and like, things aren't fair and I think being exposed to those ideas at a young age really helped shape who I am and like my work and like what I do. My favorite kind of photos that I have captured are just like the photos that I would say have made me like feel that like feeling of like weightless like that gave me that like feeling like that gas moment and like I don't know what those photos have in common like off the top of my head, I, think I, I would I actually have to like sit down with those pictures and like look at them and try to like piece together the strings and figure out why I like them. I first started taking photos my freshman year in high school, but I've been interested in photography for like, I won't say from as far back as I can re remember because that's high key just a, a cap but like I, uh, I i know i wanted to start taking photos when i was like 10 or 11 i remember being in a being in a middle school and like having the teacher go around and asking people what they want to do and i said like photography so like i've been interested in photography since like 10 11 maybe before that but I've been taking photos since freshman year of high school. I think people don't appreciate life enough. I think people don't appreciate the, the little things. I, I personally like looking at shit. Like, that's it. I just like looking at shit and I'm like, I think people should look at shit more. Keep taking more photos and stop making excuses for the photos you are not taking and stop making excuses for the photos you are taking like take more photos and if you have an idea for a photo that you do you think you can't do you're making this skills go fucking do it like like and if it doesn't turn out right okay try again like you feel me like shit doesn't like everyone that is successful everyone that is good everyone that is talented that's hard work they did. They put in the awkward. They went out, they practiced, they made the pictures. They did all that. Like, you have to go through that. You have to fail. Like, you're going to have shoots. People are going to pay you for shoots. And it's going to be ass. Like, and you're going to deliver them an ass product. And then you're going to feel bad. And that's going to be life. Like, shit like that is going to fucking happen. Like, you're going to fail and you're going to get better. But, like, you got to learn those things. So stop making the skills and stop bitching and go do it. It's my advice for people. Yeah, yeah. All right, so...